Hi Pisces, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading, all right? So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there, and feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? All right, so Pisces, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, okay? Um, so I'm gonna get into your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, what's blocking you guys, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles to overcome, and advice, so stick around. All right, so Pisces, your overall energy, we have never ending story and go the distance. So I feel like Pisces, you guys are very like strong-willed, go-getter type attitudes. I feel like you're willing to put in the work and effort into this connection, but it feels kind of karmic, like false start, false start, false start, same song and dance, actions don't match their words, that never-ending story. It could be different situations, same outcome, different people, same outcome, um, but I do feel this is a one you know, specific thing um, in your life. Your person has a leg up in unfinished symphony. Your person wants to put in the work and effort. They don't feel like this is over yet. All right. A leg up is like working together, working as a team, helping each other out, lifting each other up. You're probably saying, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is their overall energy. This could also be reversed. All right. So when I talk about your person, Pisces, it could actually be your energy and vice versa. All right. So keep that in mind too, as we go in through the reading. So I feel like your person has a sense like this isn't over. I want a new beginning with my Pisces. And you could be like, I want to put in the work and effort, but are things going to change? Underlying energy we have to the sea. So this is like that six of swords moving on to calmer waters. All right. So I feel like things could end up moving in that direction, but let's get into it and find out Pisces. Current energies for Pisces person. Current energies. Yeah. Five of cups. They're feeling a sense of sadness, loss, remorse, regret, crying over spilt milk, looking at the cups that spilt over. eight of pentacles for some of you you could have worked with this person or i feel like they really do want to put in the work and effort here they want to work on this knight of cups there you are but they could want to approach you like knight in shining armor maybe send a message to you or offer an apology sweep you off your feet something like that some kind of romantic gesture or they want to come in and romance you we have Knight of Swords, Gemini energy here. They may actually come in fast, like real quick, kind of surprising you. I just, this energy, it is, it's very, very fast moving, but it can be chaotic. <laughs> it can be chaotic. It can, you know, be stressful. Actions don't match words, false promises, things like that, which could be what you're used to. Now we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Uh, Aries Leo as well, fire energy here. There's passion, there's attraction, there's desire, there's spontaneity, there's adventure, there's things like that. So this person may actually reach out to you, Pisces, and say, you know, you want to go for a drive somewhere? Do you want to go out somewhere, have dinner? Like, kind of something like spontaneous, but I feel like there's going to be some kind of romantic gesture or an apology. Like, I'm sorry, let me take you out. Something like that. Ten of Cups. You make them happy. You're their wish fulfillment. You're their emotional fulfillment. I feel like they see long term or possibly forever with you. For some of you, you have children with this person or talked about starting a family together. The Sun Leo energy. So they start off in a very dark place and it ends in a very happy place. So it's like they're going through it right now. And so are you. There's no doubt in my mind. 
I could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, predominant, King of Pentacles. But let's see what's blocking this, Pisces. What's blocking this? Two of Cups in reverse, the wheel in reverse. This person may not have been showing that equal emotion. They could have been a little bit of a player that is here. They could have been a player in and out energy. All right. So this, this two of cups, this equal exchange of love was never able to like move forward here. Or it was on like, again, that false start, false start. And then the moon in reverse. This is. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Your energy and cancer energy. These all came out in reverse. Wow. Things that were hidden could have come to light. You may have found something out about this person. There could have been a lot of confusion or unseen activity, but... Pisces, you guys know. <laughs> you guys have strong intuition. Yeah, it caused a lot of sleepless nights, high stress, anxiety, overthinking, obsessive thinking, and the magician. There could have been manipulation here. This person could have used manipulation, trickery, fuckery, whatever. <sighs> Which is why the moon is here. Like, things weren't clear. It was... Things were hidden, caused a lot of stress, could have been a lot of drama. What else? Blockages. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, wow, the Emperor, Aries. This person could have been a little bit like controlling or very dominant personality, very action oriented, fun, flirty, attractive, outgoing, adventurous, spontaneous, born leader takes action, people give them attention, they seek attention, that kind of a thing. And I feel like that truth and clarity or victory was being blocked here because this person was so like, not grounded, not focused. They could have had a lot of temptation or a lot of other people's attention and got carried away with that. They could have been controlling. That's definitely here too for some of you. They could have been a little bit over the top controlling. And you could have felt like with this go the distance um, and never ending story, Pisces, I'm kind of getting a sense like you did put all the work and effort into it. You like basically did everything and exhausted yourself because this person was demanding. They wanted and took and took and took and wanted and wanted and nothing was ever good enough. And you just, you're kind of in this energy, like nothing's ever good enough for this person. Nothing. I do everything. I go the distance. I put in all my, my effort, my emotions, everything into this. And it's just, it feels never good enough for some of you, but let's see, how does this person feel about you? We have seven of swords. They could feel like you're sneaky or the deceptive or there's lying going on with you. This could also be them taking responsibility here in their energy. They may not have said it, expressed it, shown it, but I feel like they're maybe acknowledging like, yeah, I did manipulate you. I did lie to you. I did deceive you. And I know I broke your heart. Again, for some of you, there could have been children or family dynamic involved here. This person sees, Pisces, that you are very loyal. You are long-term. We have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person does see that with you, the forever. But they gotta, they have stuff they gotta release. Release control, release temptation. They need to stay focused and grounded. Ooh, how else do they feel about you, Pisces? How else do they feel? Three of Wands. All right, so are they willing to wait for you? 
or they know they kept you waiting. Nine of Pentacles. They see you as very independent. You can take care of yourself. Whenever you fall, you always get back up. Always. Even though this brought you down, you're a fighter, Pisces. You don't give up. That's why. Go the distance. You don't give up. They see you as very independent, very attractive. You bounce back, Pisces. And I feel like that could be why they feel there's unfinished uh, business here. Nine of Cups. You are a wish fulfillment to them. You are a wish fulfillment. They could have been a little bit like smug. Yeah, they love you. I feel like they want a new beginning here. There's definitely love here, Pisces, but there's a lot of negative energy too. I feel like this person never showed like appreciation for you, never valued you, showed you your worth. And instead, they, they were trying to fill their insecurity by going out and doing stupid things, making bad decisions and because they didn't feel good. It's almost like they were projecting it onto you, but their actions were, you know what I mean? Confirming this. They want a new beginning. They want a stable new beginning. They see you as stable. They see you as lovable. They see you as you could fill their cup. I just caution you a little bit, you guys. I do feel a little bit of selfishness with this person. Like there's... <sighs> something behind it like something for them you know what I mean like you fill their cup you give them stability you take care of them you put all the work and effort in you 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 but what about them when are they gonna step up their overall energy is that they want to step up with this leg up they want to you know put in the work and effort work as a team but are they, are they going to? Is that change going to happen? I feel like there was manipulation. I feel like there was like chaotic energy happening with this person. You could have felt abandoned, left out, left hanging. Ooh, all right, let's see. What's the potential outcome here for Pisces? Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you guys, everyone has free will. So this is just a snapshot of what it could be. All right. Could change your mind at any moment and definitely use your discernment with this one. All right, three of wands, seven of wands. So there's that waiting, the waiting game. I feel like, Pisces, you're being very protective of your energy with that seven of wands. Oh, yeah, you're definitely being protective with your energy. For sure. You're standing your ground. You're putting up boundaries, putting your walls up, and protecting your energy. When it comes to this new start in love, I feel like there's there's definitely things you guys need to talk about, like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There needs to be compromise. This person needs to understand your side and the things that they really did wrong because I feel like it's more than them just being controlling and temptation. I feel like it's the way they talk to you, the way they treat you, the way, you know what I mean? I feel like it's all of that. The appreciation they show, I feel like there, there definitely needs to be like a heart to heart conversation here. And your, your walls are still up. And I feel like you're gonna come into this with like a new found set of like boundaries. And now you know what you don't want, what you're not gonna put up with. In order for this new cycle to start, I feel like for some of you, you could be, should I, shouldn't I, I don't know if I want to, do I, don't I, I don't know. I feel like you're still kind of juggling this up in, in your head. Um, you're, you're, you're maybe making them wait, keeping them hanging for a little bit, because I feel like you're still in, in judgment mode, decide, you know, decision mode about this new chapter, new cycle. This could be definitely a karmic, all right? For some of you, you could be moving or something about a distance, I don't know, traveling. 
But I do feel like this is saying like closing a chapter to start something new. And I feel like when it starts new, it's going to be more of like a page. It's not going to be like this brand new grand beginning of stability and let's erase everything that happened. Your person wants that. You may want that too, but I feel like it's going to be more of like a page. Like let's rebuild slowly. Let's take our time. Let's see if this is going to change. Let's not jump right back in. Let's see if this moves to calmer waters. Let's see if changes are going to be made. I feel like you're still in decision mode. You're still trying to decide. Well, there's judgment, scorpionic energy. And death, rebirth, scorpionic energy. So transformation. All right. So you're going to stand your ground. You're going to stand your ground, Pisces. I feel like you're both manifesting this subconsciously, whether you both want to admit it or not. I feel like there is a level of trying to manifest this, which once was being blocked because there were things unknown and hidden and put on hold. Um, I feel like there will be a reason to celebrate. I feel like you guys are potentially going to reconcile this. And again, another page. So there could be an age difference between the two of you, but I feel like it's not going to be this. I mean, it could be for some of you, like that the ace energy, like a brand new beginning, throw the past behind us, start fresh. I feel like it's going to be more of like, let's reignite that flame. Let's get back on track. Let's, let's move forward with this. I want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Again, you may you may be married. You may have children together or live together or some kind of higher level of commitment where shit went wrong. All right. I do see it coming back together for some of you. I feel like for some of you too, this Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles that they see, they may see that you want a totally new beginning, somebody else, different, whole different thing. But I feel like they, they want to try again. But I do see the potential of reconciliation here, Pisces. But I do feel it'll bring a change. A welcome change. So something that you're trying to manifest. Yeah. But use your own discernment. I'm not here to tell you what to do. <laughs> but I feel like you are going to kind of keep them waiting. You're not going to jump right in. You're going to kind of like keep your walls up, guard up, all that. All right, so let's see, what are the biggest obstacles Pisces is going to have to overcome? Biggest obstacles. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I wanted to share an exciting announcement with you. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. So please help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by subscribing to my channel, sharing this with your family and friends so that way they can subscribe too. I'm giving away a bunch of prizes once I hit that 10,000 mark, you guys. Um, one of them is an iPad Air. The rest of them are a bunch of services that I offer. I am certified Reiki practitioner, hypnotist, life coach, and um, meditation specialist. So um, I'm giving away a bunch of free services like that along with a bunch of tarot card decks, oracle card decks, uh, chakra crystals. All of that's in the description box below. It's going to be an exciting time, you guys. And also, I wanted to announce my holiday steals and deals are also in the description box as well. I'm doing buy one, get one 50% off for all my services. And I can also do electronic gift cards as well if you wanted to give some to uh, your family and friends for the holidays. So thank you so much, you guys. I look forward to growing with you and love you guys so much for all of your support for my channel. All right, Pisces. So biggest obstacles. What do we got here? morality so morally speaking is this good for your soul is this good for you does this person value you does this person have morals you know um doing things the right way being fair all of that so using your judgment on that flowering is this going to blossom is this going to grow how can we compromise how can we get on that same page consciousness be aware use your intuition be aware of everything. Um, you guys could be a soul bond communicating in the, the higher consciousness, the 5D. Um, there could be dreams, fantasies, manifestations that you're trying to bring into the 3D. And then ripeness. 
I feel like this could ripen. I feel like this could actually flower and bloom and blossom into something that you want, but it's the process of getting to that point and understanding both both sides to this and compromise, I feel. All right, what other messages for Pisces? All right, we have Chaser. Chaser, in pursuit, convincing rejection. Let them go and let it be. So you may need to just, again, you're keeping them waiting. You may want a whole new beginning somewhere else. So I feel like this person's going to be a chaser to you. They're going to chase you. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost. The divine is with you. So for some of you, don't let feeling alone or feeling a lack of love or relationship make you want this or trick you into wanting this if this isn't going to change. I see for some of you it will, for some of you it may not, all right? Um, so again, use your discernment. Uh, hesitation, past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward, that's you. Look, look at <laughs> Hands over the face, like... An unawakened, unaware 3D ego. I feel like your person has an ego. Darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, are they? Are they ready? Are they going to change? Yes, the answer to your question is yes. But I feel like it's it's a time thing. It's a timing thing. I feel like they're, they are unawakened. It's not completely ripe yet. I feel like it can get there. It can. There's the potential for that but just not right now. All right, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, you could be replaying, what did I say, what did I do, what went wrong, why, why, this and that, you know, going over and over. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. So that could be another thing here, you guys. That transformation, you're like, you're manifesting, you could be manifesting new. And I feel like you could be, you really could be, you could be going out with friends with that three of cups, you could be in this page energy, you know, just having fun, going out, fun, flirty, whatever, no expectations, just having fun with friends, you know, healing from this. I don't know. I feel like half of you are going to go back and the other half of you are not. All right. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest, manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. You are manifesting. All right. What would this person like to say to you? Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. I have to be in con contact with you again. I miss you too much. When time got... I can't read. <laughs> I can't talk. When time got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Yeah, so it could have been tough times and this person couldn't handle it. And they made bad decisions or ran away. But now they're going to be chasing you. Oh, Pisces, this is what I have for you this week. I hope it helps. Let me know in the comments. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Be entered into the 10K giveaway. If you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below along with all my holiday specials. And until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.